Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about what kind of formation uh, you can go with in FIFA 19. I think that's uh, something that a lot of people have been struggling with uh, because FIFA 19 is very different from previous FIFAs. I think this is probably one of the most radical changes in a FIFA for a while, maybe since FIFA... 12 maybe when they put in uh, they took out legacy defending and put in that new tactical defending uh, So a lot of people are struggling to figure out what formation to go with so this video is gonna help you uh, Decide what formation to go with based on the strengths that you have in attack and defense things like that So uh, hopefully this will help you guys uh, play fun rivals because I know they've got some great rewards coming and You guys need that to get some great players so before we get into that be sure to hit like and also subscribe to the channel for more trust the boy now uh i'm gonna start with 41212 now at first actually before i get into the formations these are the main things uh i'm seeing right now in the meta of but gameplay so far it's very early this is the first week the meta is obviously gonna change uh it always changes it's gonna be the meta is gonna be different a month from now and if they release another patch the meta is gonna change now uh, then too, um, but so far what I've noticed is AI defending is very strong, so It's bad to attack down the middle. It's better to attack wide. So wide play is a lot better um, skills are more fluid although Wingers are easily getting caught on uh, the break, you know, the the pace isn't the same The pace isn't as relevant as before so you can be through on the wing But then the fullback or the center back is gonna get to you. So that's one uh, Intercepting is very strong in the middle. That's two and three Finesse shots are very strong right now Those are the best way to score because a lot of people are having trouble with time finishing and sometimes time finishing doesn't seem like it's worth it but uh, and there's a bug right now that um makes players side foot the ball instead of doing like a, a generator shot like a power shot like a FIFA 18 so the way to go right now is time finishing so I think those are the three main things I'm noticing so far in the gameplay of FIFA 19 of course I've been playing for a while uh since EA access right so it's been over a week already for me um just to notice what I am I'm division five right now but I'm watching you know pros play on twitch I'm um, taking notes of when I lose I'm rank one division five, but I, I think I learned a lot better when I lose actually um, So we'll talk about the formations and how they're gonna affect those three things I talk about and making the most out of those three things now Okay, four and two and two that's always been the standard formation that's worked across every FIFA at first I thought that it didn't work in this year's FIFA, but um, I've been actually getting a lot more luck with it I think my most wins come from when I play four one two and two just because I do I do like attacking with that cam. I think for me, the cam position is very important because it links up the, the midfield and the attack. Um, but the thing is, is one thing you got to make sure if you do want to go with this formation, this might be a formation that you're all comfortable with because you're so used to it in FIFA. But attacking down the middle is very dangerous because the intercepting is very high right now with the AI, um, probably too high. And the thing is that if you attack down the middle now, like FIFA 18, you know, FIFA 18, the middle was like, you know, Tiki Taka in the middle. And then you go through on goal. If you tiki tock and make the wrong pass, you have such a big gap open to your opponent. Your opponent can easily counter you so quickly. I think those are the majority of the goals I've been conceding. So I'm playing 4 1 2 and 2. I make a miss pass down the middle. And my CDM is already pushing up. So when my opponent gets the ball, there's a huge space for my center backs. And then he gets through on goal if he beats one of my. Uh, sorry, there's a huge space um, in front of my center backs. And then. Uh, he can my opponent can easily beat my center back and then he gets a goal so there's nothing wrong with four and two and two it's just that instead of going down the middle try to attack wide uh, make sure you're attacking using don't i wouldn't be you know going straight to your cam i would be making sure you're using your rcm and lcm and then connecting them with the cam the sds on the wing and then playing inside so once you're in the middle of the pitch avoid playing it in the middle and go out to the rcm and lcm and then interchange with the STs on the wing a bit. I think that's a lot better. Don't do that FIFA 18 Tiki Taka. If you're really, if you're a lot faster, I think a lot of pros are still using this because they're just a lot faster than a lot of their opponents at Tiki Taka. But I would say if you're a, an average player, but you still like 4 1 2 and 2, I would play down the wing. And the one thing you can easily do is just go back to, I think the original 4 1 2 and 2 works a lot better now because these players are a lot wider. So you won't get a lot of quick passes, but. It's better if you want to avoid getting caught in the middle. So try the two four and two and twos. If you want more width, go with the original four and two and two. I think 
that could be a lot better uh i think if you have a good strong st um especially like you know like a lewandowski a Giroud, uh cavani someone who can um also head the ball uh then you want to try this out a bit too so i think the four and two and twos definitely still work uh four three one two is a bit too tight but again if you're very good at tiki taka then i think you can get the job done that might be i mean four four three one two is my formation fifa 18 but it gets a bit narrow for me and like i said uh width is very important so if you are into the four four twos or the four triple twos i think they work out really well if you're more of a wing player i think it's better to be a wing player right now in fifa 19 uh, so if you do want to go down the wings the four triple two is very good and you do have the two cd cdms to cover um for any counter attacks uh so that's four triple two i think that if you like your width and you do need some cover go with the four triple two four two three one now this is something that has been um a lot of it's given me a lot of success so far uh this is what i switch to if i want to go defensive and i still want to be in the game like let's say i want to hold my lead i go from four one two one two and then by the second half go to four two three one um this one is very good because these cams as you guys probably know these cams go out very not too wide but they are a bit wide uh they form an attacking trio or i, I guess an attacking four with the cam and the sd so these cams are a bit wider they're you know they're a few steps wider than what they are of course on this squad screen but this is something i recommend that if you are bad at defending because of the two cdms um so you can intercept like i said a lot of intercepting goes on the middle so if a, your opponent does a lot of gameplay in the middle you can easily intercept and then you still have the wide players to go to but you do have to be very patient because there's a lone striker every time you have a lone striker uh especially the 4 2 3 1 you have to be a bit patient with your gameplay but i actually like this formation very well because it's the same thing 4 2 3 1 wide you got the two cdms but the lm and rm are a lot uh they're a lot wider so if you have a really sweaty rm lm mbappe uh you have neymar on the wing although i wouldn't waste neymar on the left wing i would go with somebody who's a bit stronger but fast so he can act as a deterrent for your opponent's attackers on the wing as well um this is actually a really good formation again if you do need a bit of help in defense i would go with this one in particular right now so it teaches you how to uh not only attack using the wings and cross it into your uh, sd but also it will give you that help on defense and the thing about this cam right here if you have a high attacking work rate cam he actually makes a lot of good runs into the box for the late crosses uh that's something i found out is that the cam in this formation makes a lot of good runs uh so you, you can also i would also make sure that if i did have a cam in this formation i would make him a bit taller uh, because he's gonna make a lot of good runs uh, that the defenders don't track the defenders are looking at this guy this sd and then your cam is gonna swing right in uh, and you can also you, you know if you need some interchange you, you you take it from your cdms to your cam and you pass it over the top wide to your rm and your lm so uh, this is something if you want some width and if you do need some help on defense your defense isn't that good i would suggest that uh four two four i think if you're very good at the game you'll like this because you have to be very good to balance out the cms of course there's a ton of attacking talent i've seen a few pros do it like uh ovo6 he's a north american pro that's his formation uh, i think a lot of people start testing it out once they get a lot better like we get start going to the icons we start getting to the op informs because you need like a you need like a hold it makalele Vieira kind of level players to fill this role because there's a lot of space in here but you can overload your your uh, opponent with a uh, option so i think if you're very good at attacking this is one of those formations i suggest if you're not that great at attacking um and your your skill level in fifa isn't very high you're not a, a high a high level player i i wouldn't go with this honestly i think um this would be throwing you into the the fire a bit too quickly if you're not that great again this is four three one two um this is another great formation that's been working a lot for people this is probably the second or third most popular formation i would say right now uh because you got that flat three which is very good at intercepting down the middle and not the widest but again they're very good at intercepting you need some all rounders in your midfield um and Didi, pogba fred those kind of guys 
uh, in that midfield. Uh, but the great thing about this is that you do have wingers, but they're very tied to the ST. So they can make a lot of runs and then you can cross it into the SD or you can interchange, do some one twos with the SD in there and then make that finesse shot at the top of the box, right? So this is a great formation. I, I would suggest this is for all skill levels. I think should try this out. If you're at any skill level, give this one a shot because it'll get you used to that wing play. And the midfield is, has three men uh, in the middle. So it's not like you could get countered the the risk with this one is always that you get countered but i think if you have one of your cms to be medium high work rates so like an ndd or something like that make sure at least one or two of them have medium high and then set them to uh set them to on the instructions to stay back so when you have a three-man midfield, I, I think it's always important to have one of them on stay back while attacking. I actually put all three of mine on stay back just so I don't get hit on the counter. Something I've noticed though is a lot of the CDMs don't really stay back in FIFA 19. I've been noticing. And my Ndidi like literally pushes up to where my cam is. It's kind of annoying. Uh, the four three threes are going to be very good. I think this is another. Um, these are another series of formations that I would suggest so we can get used to scaling on the wings, crossing. And just getting used to that wing play again same three-man midfield but the wingers are obviously a bit wider my favorite of the 43s right now uh, this is actually not my favorite yet but uh, this is something I start off with before I switch the 41212 just for chemistry reasons but if you do need that CDM let's say you're not that good at defending uh, you can keep your CDM uh, back there and hopefully he'll stay back if you stay uh, if you tell him to go stay back while attacking uh, of course you wouldn't have that that cam i think the cam position is actually very important for that finesse shot so i'm not a fan of this one in particular i'm a fan of 43 attack because it's got that cam and if you have a cam with good weak foot five star four star weak foot good finesse shot um you could put this cam here and he can hit any anything that comes off to the edge of the box he's right there to finesse it uh and he pushes up like a second striker in some cases so when you do make a cross, he might be in there. So this is actually my favorite of the 4-3-3s. But also, this I played a game, and a couple guys who play 4-3-3 uh, with the false 9 uh, have actually destroyed me. They're very good. So you might want to try this out if you know how to do a lot. I, I think if you are good at build-up play, I would try this one out as well. And definitely it makes a, a, a difference if you have a very strong CF, not just you can't put a weak guy in there. You definitely cannot put a weak uh, XT in there at CF. So that's another one that you could try. This uh, 4411, these two 441 ones are very, uh, people seem to be uh, gravitating to these uh, because they do have that extra width. And the CF pushes up like a second striker, of course. So you have the width. You got to have some all rounder midfield, field midfielders. Uh, you would have one of them be more defensive than the other, and then one of them like a Pogba who's good at everything kind of thing, but still attacks. And you can go down the wing and then this guy's gonna make those late runs and he's gonna uh also be able to link up with the st so 4411 and this one with the cam have been a lot of people have been telling me that they have been finding a lot of success with it but i'm not sure if it's gonna be one of the top formations out there i think uh 442 is still gonna be good because it's got those two strikers right up there it's got the width and again you have those two cms who need to be all rounders and one of them more defensive than the other uh, or both of them super, uh, not super defensive, but you know, I, I always use the example of Holland and Vieira. Uh, those would be the perfect players for that position in the middle if you could get them, but not everybody can get them. It's only the start of FIFA. So uh, this is for, I think, more skilled people. Again, when you go with the two-man midfield, I think it's better to be more skilled. So if you're starting out with the game, I don't think you go with it. Um, now, if you are very good attacking, I suggest this formation, actually. 451 when I switched to it and I realized I switched to when I realized I'm a lot better than my opponent uh, And he's terrible defending this formation is actually kind of ridiculous uh, Just be sure to note that this guy this CM does not stay in place uh, You got to be very skilled you got to be very good at defending because you will get countered with this because this guy pushes up a lot So make sure he's medium high low high uh, But the great thing about this is that you still have the whip but then these guys make some serious runs into the box. They make some great runs into the box. I've uh, Most of my goals actually don't come from the SD in this formation. It comes from like, I think I had Fred here once and Zaha. And they just make these crazy runs into the box that you can lay it off. Not necessarily for crosses, but like you link it up with your SD. And then one of these two guys makes a crazy run into the box. 
you go over the top or you do like a underground through ball and these guys pick up the ball so if you're skilled 451 is the one for you uh i would have tried this one and five of the back and eh, but if you do want to risk it I, I don't like the three of the backs i think they're op if you're again if you're skilled anything with two anything with two cms i would only go with if you're skilled three four three if you do not attack then you're just going to destroy your opponent because you're amazing at skills and you're amazing going forward but you know how to defend give it a shot but then i think if you come up against somebody who's as skilled as you you're going to be exposed if he gets behind your element arm so give it a shot if you know what you're doing if you think you know what you're doing give it a shot now all right if i was to break it down and be like all right what formations would i pick what are the best formations in my opinion for uh someone starting off at fifa i would go if you're used to fifa 18 i would go 4 one 2 one 2 2 but try to not attack down the middle so i would say best formations for me 4 one 2 one 2 normal so you get the width 4 one 2 one 2 narrow um but make sure to play try to play more to the wings as well and then i would say for me four two three one wide and four two four three two one uh is a very good one and then four three three attack and is there any other one and four five one if you're i really think not this one sorry if, if you're very good at going forward give this one a shot just give it a try let me know what you guys think of course in the comments below let me know what formations gonna work for you don't forget to share it with everybody uh in the in the comment section below because i think a lot of people are having a lot of trouble with the game so i would say those are the best formations to look at right now four five one uh if you're very attacking uh four three three attack uh if you want some wing play and the can to make those runs into the box four three two one for some good wing play and a great attack and a decent midfield uh four two three one wide in case you need some defensive uh in case you need some defensive reinforcements and then four one two one two the two four one two and twos are probably your best bet so give those a shot let me know how they go for you uh don't forget to like subscribe to the channel for more trust the boy i'll see you guys later have a good one peace